breast cancer is a very aggressive cancer. Um, in order to treat or eradicate cancer completely, we have to treat breast cancer patients from a different angle. So that's why we have a different subspecialties um, to treat patients with breast cancer. We work as a team. We have radiation oncologists, we have surgical oncologists, and we also have medical oncologists. And we also have other um, physicians like pathology, um, genetics counselor, um, plastic surgeon. So all of these subspecialties are all integrated as a team um, to work to help treat patients with breast cancer. Most of the patients that had early stage breast cancer patients, they already had undergone their surgery, they already had their cancer removed out from the breast. Most often time they already had surgery to remove the cancer in the lymph node too. And uh, most of the patient has already gone and see the radiation oncologist, which discuss with them about local radiation to the breast. So most often time, the patient does not know that even though they have the surgery or the radiation, those treatments are considered as local therapy. Cancer cell can also travel through bloodstream, um, and it can hide in some organs like lung, liver, and bone. They can hide in those organs for a long period of time and then waiting to grow back. And currently, we do not have the technology that can detect these small little cells. And that's why most of the time in most patients with early stage breast cancer, we often also consider what we call systemic treatment, things like chemotherapy or uh, medical treatment, um, like in, um, the hormone treatment, the endocrine therapy, the hormone blocker, which will go through the bloodstream and then all treat the patient's whole body. Often patient has a misconception that they don't want to get therapy and they don't want to get chemotherapy now while they're still feeling well. And they often think that perhaps they can wait until the cancer comes back and then treat it then with the chemotherapy. But that's actually a big, huge misconception. The thing is that when we try to treat small little, little micrometastases, we have a better chance of eradicating them entirely. We have a better chance of curing them. Um, and the time that we can cure the patient with early stage breast cancer is only the time when they just had the surgery done and then we're dealing with the small little micrometastases. And then later on, if you wait until these small little cells started to grow back and then spread, it's becoming curable. The top three reasons that the patient should see the medical oncologist, the first one would be to go over diagnosis with the physician um, because there are many subtypes of breast cancer. All of the subtypes are different um, and they behave differently. Um, in breast cancer field, we normally look at three different proteins on the surface of the cancer cells, in, inside the cancer cells, two being the hormone receptors, which are estrogen and progesterone receptor. And the last protein is a protein called HER2. HER2 is a protein that makes cancer cells more aggressive and likely to spread. The second one would be to discuss about the prognosis of the cancer that you have. This thing will base on the, mostly your, the stage of the cancer that you have, depend on the tumor size, the lymph node involvement, and whether the cancer has spread any elsewhere in the body. The third one would be to go over the options for the systemic treatment based on your cancer type.